Welcome to the Chris Variants. Today, I'm going to show you the Funko Pop haul I got over the holiday weekend. Welcome to the Chris Variants. Today, you know, I'm going to show you off the uh, Funko Pops that we got over the holiday weekend. Um, I wasn't able to get footage of the shopping that we did uh, because I went straight after work. My phone was dead. Uh, so, uh, basically I'm going to show you off what we got, show off what we bought. I do have a couple unboxes that I did get just in today, so I kind of want to start off with that first. Uh, I think we're going to start off with this right here. It's from the Funko Shop. Uh, over the holiday weekend, they put on a whole bunch of store exclusives. Um, and there was one, in, you know, there was a couple in there we didn't, wasn't able to get. So, uh... This one is one of them, and it's from the Emerald City Comic Con this past year, and that is uh, Mitchell Mix, Mr. Mixelplick. Can't even say it right, Mr. Mixelplick. Uh, one of the classic uh, Superman video villains. Um, we're big Superman fans, so to have this in our collection, we had to have. Um, at the time when this all came out, we just couldn't. You know, again, we're pop hunters on a budget, so wasn't able to get it, but we were able to get it now, and it's really nice, nice looking box, you know, and I would hope so coming from the Funko Pop Shop, and everything we've get, uh, everything we got from the Funko Shop has been pretty good uh, uh, packaging, shipping, everything. Um, it's really cool. He's got a little stand. He's kind of sit floating in the air, kind of like he would normally do. Um, it actually has the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive sticker on it, not the shared exclusive sticker. So that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty stoked about that. So, uh, Mix a Mix a Plick, right there. Good haul so far. The next one I got was one that um, when it came out, I saw we needed to order the exclusives. I'm pretty sure, uh, or the when it came out for the uh, pre-sale had to have again last video I told you guys I was a Dragon Ball Z uh, fan huge and was able when Child's Collectibles put this one out I knew I had to have it uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku with Kamehameha uh, Kamehameha Wave Kamehameha uh, Kamehameha Wave Kamehameha if, if you're doing it I guess um such a oh man that's an astounding paint job the metallic in the hair and the blue and then the wave uh comes with a pocket protector really nice good clean condition uh definitely knew i needed this pop um i said i'm a big dragon ball z fan uh dragon ball z super has been really good so far so uh love that they did this I really wish they put out one, just a regular uh, uh, Goku doing the Kamehameha Wave. But I really would love a moment, a TV moment, with the father-son Kamehameha Wave from the Perfect Cell Saga. That would be total BA uh, and glow in the dark. That would be so awesome. So if they could do that, Funko, if you could do that, you should do that. Okay. Um, another, uh, the next, uh, three I bought off Facebook, uh, somebody locally was selling, uh, pops, uh, girl just wanted to get rid of them, $5 a piece, I said, cool, um, I'll, I'll take them, you know, and it was three pops, uh, so the first one was Oz from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, we're pretty big, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, fans, Angel fans, uh, box is in really good condition, um, we have, that is the kind of kicker, we only have one other Buffy the Vampire Slayer pop. And the one that we have is going to complement this amazingly. And we have the Willow pop. So getting this was a really good compliment to have both of them together. So pretty happy to get this for five bucks. Um, she didn't care about PPG pricing or nothing. She just she was taking too much room up, um, but a good score. Now the next two I got from her, I think are pretty good scores. I haven't looked them up on Pop Price Guy, but I think last time I uh, was talking to my brother, they're about $30 pops a piece, so. 
Let's put that right there. First one I'm going to show is American Horror Story Coven Myrtle Snow. Uh, the pop is in pretty good condition again. Uh, again, she wasn't really, she just enjoyed the show, wasn't really a Funko Pop collector. So there's a little bit of a ding right there, but five bucks, can't, can't really complain. I will admit, I am not a fan of the show. I haven't watched any of the seasons. But my brother's a huge fan, so he really digs the show. Uh, I have a buddy of mine that really digs the show too, so uh, this is really for them. Uh, so that went, that went into the collection there too. The next one I got from her is from American Horror Story Hotel. And that's the Countess. Lady Gaga herself, the count the Countess. Pretty cool pop uh, for Lady Gaga, you know, with the blood on the uh, around her mouth. Uh, again, not too familiar with the story, uh, but know that um, it's a pretty valued pop. And for five bucks, I just I just had to have it. <laughs> you know, I knew I had to have it. Uh, the box, this box is in really good condition. Uh, no, you know, just maybe a wear there, but nothing significant. So a really good find on Facebook. Um, I peruse uh, the Facebook groups quite often, but like this was just a local uh, surprise to see a pop in our local area, to be honest with you. So uh, whenever I saw it came up, you know, I messaged her really quick. She's like, yeah, she actually had a Ramsey Bolt she was wanting to get rid of, but somebody already snagged that, you know, claimed on dibs on it. And I get it, Couldn't, can't pass it up. So uh, just wish I'd been a little bit quicker, but very happy with what she uh, sold us. So. Uh, the next we went to Target um, So I don't know if you recall in one of our uh, previous uh, Unboxings we got Rosie the Riveter and she was mangled bad So we took her back to uh, the closest Target next to, to us and that was an hour and a half away So we went down there they had a mall again. That's close to mall really for us to we went down there we we're going to take her back anyways because the box is just too mangled to even uh, really keep. So we got our refund back. And we asked if they had any more in stock they could check. Uh, we and we went back there and they said uh, no, sorry, they were limited run. We're out. It's like okay, well let's go back there and see what they have. So and sure enough, the first thing I saw was Rosie the Riveter. They had about three of her. Uh, this is the best box. The other boxes were kind of mangled, uh, weren't mangled, they were just kind of bent and dinged. But this one right here is in very, very good condition. Uh, and again, just an iconic uh, pose and an iconic, it's a really cool pop uh, to what it means. And you know, my sister really digs her, so had to have her, so we got her. So, in keeping with that, we had to make sure that see if they had the other ones. So um, they did have Abraham Lincoln, Alana Dave here. Um, again, really cool pop. Uh, the hat is really tall. It really kind of goes up to touching the the top of the box, the top of the plastic. Um, it just a signature iconic pose, really too. Um, and it's just a really cool pop. Really nice box. Uh, glad they made this run and we know that there's the uh, uh, commons but we're gonna get those like but they'll be easier to find but we knew exclusives we had to, we had to kind of jump on before they ran out so um, so if you know if we got Abe we know with 4th of July just passed we had to get Uncle Sam and this is just a mean tough looking pop the way they did the eyebrows uh, and with you know just kind of complimented the signature poster there kind of that sneer like hey we want you uh so like it was just an iconic pop really again really happy they made these there's a little soul patch there uh but super cool pop you know uh again uh the boxes are really nice and clean i love how every kind of box has you know their own unique tagline to them you know so this was just another really cool way they, they did this one's actually the borders on uh, each one of these American history pops are different if you notice that and I really like how they varied that up um, with the American flag and then the kind of the the how about drop that one 
uh, but the kind of the poster that it emulated around there. And then the Rosie the Riveter with the rivets and the steel, uh, and even the box right there kind of matching the poster color. Uh, really good attention to detail by Funko. Uh, again, here lately they've just been knocking out the park with all these different poses and all the little quirks that make these characters iconic anyways. Uh, and the final thing we got from Target was uh, a piece that kind of finishes the collection of one uh, movie that we've been collecting so far. Um, until they make more, I'm sure. Um, but it's from Trading Spaces and it's Lewis Winthorpe III. This completes us. We are done with this movie series. So, um, really love this movie. It's a classic, funny movie. Um, Eddie Murphy in his prime, you know. Um, with, you know, another, with the 40 Hour movies and uh, Beverly Hills Cop around, you know, come out a little bit later. This was right when he was in his prime. So, uh, not the Pluto Nash. Hopefully they don't ever make a Pluto Nash pop. But, um, the Trading Spaces pop were awesome. Um, and we just knew we had to have them, so. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Coming to America pops, you know, because Coming to America is one of his great movies, too, so. Um, so from there... We went uh, to the GameStop, and only about one pop there, but the pop I knew I needed to have. Uh, really cool looking pop. Again, uh, they are really knocking out the park with these Dragon Ball Z pops. Uh, so I got the Funko Insider Club exclusive, which is GameStop exclusive, Gohan with the training sword, or with the sword. So um, again, really cool, iconic moment, you know, from Dragon Ball Z. Um, again, he's got the battle damage. He's just ready to go. Um, box in good shape. Um, I thought there was a ding on it somewhere. Where did I see it? Oh, yeah, here it is. Right, here. there's a little bit of a ding, kind of right here, a little crease. Kind of makes the box pop out a little bit. Um, but all in all, you kind of, you kind of see it right there too. But other than that, though, it's a uh, clean looking pop. Glad we got it. So, uh, and we're running out of room here. So let's see here if I can put it right there. Can you see it? Oh yeah. And cover up that infinity gauntlet. Um, so from there, let's see here. We went um, Barnes and Noble. So Barnes and Noble, we were able to kind of get a couple commons that we wanted. Um, one uh, that we uh, series television series that you know. We all love, and uh, it's a very funny series. Uh, we need the other three pops uh, still. <laughs> so there's four pops, only got one of them. But we're gonna get them, uh, they're commons. But uh, that's Scrubs, and we got Turk. Now this pop, he it looks just like Turk. Pose and everything. It even kind of has a little bit of the attitude uh, that Turk has for somehow, but somehow they were able to capture it. Uh, so a great looking pop. Even got his badge, his little badge right there. Yeah, it's a really cool pop. Um, really love the show, funny show. Uh, if you haven't checked it, checked it out, check it for sure. And then uh, another pop that we needed to have that we hadn't had yet, um, that we're wanting to kind of get all the pops from that series, that's Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, this one's just common, uh, but it, you know, after watching the movie, we watched the movie July 4th, and it's a really good movie, really uh, great um, back into the phase three, I thought, in how, where they're going to set up going forward, how uh, Peter slash Spider-Man is, you know, getting along without, with war, in a world without Tony Stark and what he values, so, uh, again, but part of the movie that was great about it was MJ. And as you can see, she's holding the mace, which is a good little thing. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but nice little tie to what she kind of does with, with it in the movie. Um, and again, great movie. Zendaya, who plays MJ, makes it her own, makes MJ her own. It's not your typical Mary Jane Watson, uh, and which, which is refreshing. Because Mary Jane Watson isn't really much of a dynamic character other than kind of the, I hate to say it, I'm probably going to get dislikes for it, but kind of a ditzy actress, you know. 
Uh, there's depth to MJ. Um, so, yeah, totally, totally really like this pop. Uh, love the movie. So, there's that. <clears throat> From there, we went to Hot Topic. And Hot Topic, they had a deal going on, 3 for 27. So, um, we... First up, picked up one that we needed for the Captain Marvel series. Um, we And this completes our set for Nick Fury. And it's just the common Nick Fury. Uh, so, we got the Collection Core box, Nick Fury. We have the OG Avengers, Nick Fury. So... Um, I believe that's all they made so far, so uh, had to have them. Um, I don't know why they call it, I don't know why it's Nick Fury. It's probably should just be Fury because nobody calls him Nick. Um, again, just a really cool pop, uh, great movie. Had to have them. Up there. Next one we got, and this was uh, to kind of to help with. Uh, so, a while back we ordered, uh, when these came back on, to order uh, the Hot Topic Angon Air Scooter, common. So, we ordered, it's probably been about four weeks ago, we ordered three. And this is before I even got the YouTube channel started up, and wouldn't you know it, all three of them were <laughs> chases. Pretty astounding. We've sold one. Uh, we've kept one, and one um, is undecided, so to speak. So, uh, but here it is, Aang on Air Scooter. The Glowing Doctor really cool because it's him in the Avatar state. But this really is cool too because that air is it's clear, it's see-through. Uh, really like that kind of touch, you know, dynamic because he really didn't ride the Air Scooter in the Avatar state much. So, um, had to have him. Um, we couldn't even find these, just the regular ones in our hot in the hot topics when they first came out. They were just getting gorged from the chases and even the commons. So uh, I know we could borrow it off Macari, but we wanted to kind of wait and see what we did with the what we ordered the three. And at some point, you kind of like I wish one of those was a common, but at the same time, you're like, no, I don't. Uh, so, uh, but anyways, got the common to that. So that'll right here Ooh. okay and then the other one we got um, is from the DC Superhero Alliance Hot Topic exclusive Owlman really cool pop you know this is part of the uh, Elseworlds uh, and I think uh, in Christ, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths Owlman's in that voiced by James Woods uh, but really cool pop uh, I think I'm pretty sure he's part of the syndicate um and so, you know, just the, the evil halves of alternate Earths, you know. Uh, but it was a really cool looking pop. Had to have it. Got it. Okay. And last but not least, um, we hit a Walgreens on the way home. And one of the pops that we've been searching and searching for and keep coming up uh, short on. In fact, we even ordered it from the Funko shop when it came on. Uh, just because we couldn't find it here. The one I did find, uh, they box cut through the box. And I'm like, Ew. you know, I can't do that. So uh, we just stopped on a random Walgreens on the way home. And there it's sitting in the back of a shelf. Just in the best condition I've ever seen a pop at Walgreens that I wanted to have. Uh, I think, well, I'll take it back. I caught a Invisible Man chase, but they just pulled it out of the box for me. So, you know, I got lucky before I even got on the shelves. But... The Anakin Skywalker Walgreens exclusive. This is right when he just turned evil. Right before the, uh, the battle uh, with Obi-Wan. For Obi-Wan just sliced him up. Um, just it, the, the attention to detail on it. Lightsaber. Uh, just a really cool. Get the glare out of that. Glare out of there. Uh, just a cool pop. Just an amazing looking pop. Um, you know, so we had to have it. We have one coming in from the Funko shop. Uh, we're just kind of making sure. We, we went ahead and got this one just in case it came busted or, you know, damaged in some fashion. But we have this one. We're probably going to have another one. So uh, that's it. I ended up getting, an, getting another pop in the mail. Uh, but it came beat the, beat the tar out of. Uh, and paying for what I paid for the, 
you know, I pay, it's not, it's not, I paid it off a, I got it from a specific place, not like Macari or eBay or anything like that. So we called and, uh, and they're going to send us a replacement one, uh, actually told us to donate the other one. So probably do that, um, to probably give it to a kid or, uh, whatever. But anyways, that'll be coming in the mail, uh, probably sometime the end of the week, maybe next week. And I think we got a couple more coming in. So, um, again, I hope you enjoy what we've got. I uh, hope you like the content on the channel so far. Uh, be sure to check out my last video uh, that I posted. Uh, and it's not a pop video. It's, I put it on the lifestyles category. Uh, it's a buddy of mine uh, doing the bottle cap challenge on Independence Day. It's pretty glorious. It's pretty patriotic. So check that out. Give it a like. Uh, I hope you guys like what you know the channel's given so far. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I like to interact with people. Uh, I think here in um, probably another two videos, I'm going to start doing probably a giveaway. Uh, okay, so be on the lookout for that. There are going to be ways to enter that. Uh, I'll be, I'm not on the Instagram yet, but I will be. I'll be on the gram. Uh, I will be signing up for that this week. Um, so uh, I'll share a link to that when that's up. Um, again, like, share, comment, share with your friends, click the bell for notifications. So uh, we'll see you on the next video.